We're back now with the Valley Animal Center for M Monday. They join us every Monday to feature an adorable adoptable so we can help reduce the stray pet population. Here with us today is Cat Care Associate uh, Magali from the Valley Animal Center. So who are you showing off today? So this is our big gentle giant Essie who's a little shy and not very happy about being on camera. <laughs> so I'm going to let him go ahead and go in his little hut right here. I know <laughs> I saw I saw you guys playing earlier and I was like, oh, no, Essie's not going to come out of his little ig igloo. But pets like that. They like to they like to have little burrows that they can they can feel safe in. So tell us about Essie. You called him a gentle giant. How big is this cat? So he's actually, I think the last time I weighed him, he was around 14 pounds. <gasps> That's a big cat. What kind of cat is he? What do we know? What about his story? So he actually came with about four housemates after their owner unfortunately passed away. Um, now out of the five total, he and one other senior cat are the only ones left. He's about three years old. He's one of our more shy cats. As you can see, he likes to hide for about the first couple weeks that he was with us, he would burrow himself under blankets and we actually started putting more boxes in the room and he loves them. It's just, it's like his security blanket kind of, which is why we had to have this igloo here for when he got a little overstimulated being in a new room that he doesn't know very well. Yes, uh, nervous animals like that. They like their own. They like their own little spaces. Like you know, like humans. Sometimes we hide under the covers. Yeah. It makes us feel good. So, what kind of home would Essie do best in? So, so, because he lived with other animals, I do think that he would be pretty okay living with other cats. We haven't seen him around dogs, but when we have dogs come by to get cat tested, he doesn't really pay mind to him. I um, mean, to them. Excuse me. Um, because he is quiet, um, he does hide a lot. People don't notice him very much, uh, mostly because they don't see him. He's in a box. He's in, he has a cat tree that has an area that they can climb into, and he owns it. Like Whenever it gets taken out to be cleaned, he's just losing his mind trying to find it. But he would honestly do well in a quiet home. Um, maybe kids, if the kids are old enough to know that cats need their quiet time every once in a while, but he's just, I always say he's looking for a soulmate. Yes. Yeah, so maybe a house where the kids are okay, leaving the pets alone for a little while. You know, he's probably yeah. not like my, my dog who doesn't <laughs> mind if you're in his face constantly. So yeah. maybe we need a, a house where Essie can have a, a little space of his own. If somebody wants to come meet Essie, what is that process like? So we are open Wednesdays and Fridays from 2 to 7. On weekends, Saturday, Sunday, we're open 10 a.m. to 4.30. Anyone who comes in is always welcome to go into the room where Essie is, and they can, they have to pet him at first because he is a little shy, and then he'll just start coming out, and he'll recognize you as someone who, who pets him, and that's his love language. He loves to be pet, he loves belly rubs, and he loves food. Treats are his go-to. Um, that's we had some here to kind of remind him, like, we're okay, we're feeding you. Like, <laughs> yeah, I saw Essie. Uh, he had a little uh, little trove of treats in that igloo, yeah. and they're all gone now. I was watching him eat him. Yeah. What are his adoption fees? So Essie actually is going for $100. He is an adult. Um, and all with the $100, he is neutered. He's up to date on vaccines, be warmer. He's microchip. That's all included with his adoption fee. Okay, perfect. Well, we will have all the information about Essie online if you're interested in meeting him and giving him a forever home. Look at that. Look at what a what an easy pet that is to have. Thank you both so much for being here on this Monday. We appreciate it. Thank you. Coming up here, we're celebrating National Pet Month, and our next guest give us all the information about making and caring for kitties a little easier than ever before. Stay there.